Oh, hey, it's George from Brandywine Valley Active Aging. Come on in. You know, at BVAA, we have a hashtag. It's Get Busy Living. And we partnered with our friends, the experts at Elite Therapy Solutions, to help us live our best life. Come on. Subscribe to our Brandywine Valley Active Aging and Elite Therapy Solutions YouTube channels and stay up to date with new videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. As physical abilities change as we age, it may become more difficult to manage our home safely. It's important to evaluate our home to make sure that we can carry out our everyday tasks. In today's short video, I will be going over a few of the things that are evaluated during a home evaluation. Number one, entry into the home. As therapists, we evaluate all aspects of a person's home, including how one gets inside. This could include looking at things such as adequate lighting in the driveway, walkway, and at doors, slopes and the pavement condition of both the driveway, walkway, and entryway, the amount of steps needed to get into the home and if there are railings available for assistance, and any tripping hazards that may be present outside the home, such as overgrown shrubs, tree roots, and even doormats. Number two, entryway inside the home. Additionally, we look at things that could be a potential hazard once you've entered or are inside your home. Things that could be evaluated include the threshold height to prevent tripping and the type of doorknob on the front door, whether it's a turnstile or a lever, throw rugs, which could be a potential tripping hazard as well, and their condition, and whether the throw rugs have an anti-skid backing, pathways that are free from clutter and allow an individual to walk unencumbered from the front door, and easily accessible lighting once inside the front door. Number three, stairs, halls, and seating. It's important to evaluate the home and its safety, and several things that may not be thought of are the stairs, halls, and seating arrangements. Items that may be observed by a therapist include, are there railings on both sides of the stairs? The stair height and the flooring material, whether it's carpet, vinyl, or hardwood flooring, and additionally, any changes in floor texture, such as going from a carpet to vinyl flooring, are important to evaluate for potential tripping hazards. Are hallways free from clutter and do they have adequate lighting? And is their seating easily accessible should someone need to stop and rest while moving throughout the home? These are just a few of the many things that could be evaluated within a home. There are many areas that were not covered in today's video, but if you believe that you or somebody you know could benefit from a home evaluation for safety, please feel free to call our main offices at 610-594-2060 to consult with a licensed healthcare professional. I hope you found today's video enjoyable, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and get busy living. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Ask the Experts at Elite, brought to you by Brandywine Valley Active Aging. We'll see you next time.